All right, everyone, in today's video, I have a special talk to give on an herb called uh, Lomatium dissectum, um, also known usually as Lomatium or uh, LDM, depending on where you buy it. Uh, first and foremost, though, uh, for the video, I want to give a special shout out to my bud and friend, Nick, who we had a deep conversation on Lyme disease, um, because for those of you that don't know, I myself had Lyme disease going on almost a year and a half now. I was diagnosed with it a year and a half ago in um, June of 2016. And even before that, I knew I probably had it longer because unlike most people, I, I did not get the bullseye. Um, the bullseye is a hit or a miss. And there's even some evidence now to suggest that not many get a bullseye, but they may get like an incomplete rash. I was one of those that got a rash. It was like a stripe on the side of my, like right under um, my lung, I guess, area. It was like a red uh, stripe. And it originally, uh, everyone thought it was shingles. And I thought that was odd because I never had the chicken pox virus. I just kind of missed that one. So I didn't think anything of it. Um, it itched and then I would gradually feel fatigued. Now, my early symptoms of Lyme disease uh, felt very flu-like. I had achy joints on and off, and then they just kind of like went away, and then they relapsed, and it was like someone who had a radio on, and they were slowly turning up the volume. That's how the intensity of the symptoms got, all the way to the point that I would sleep for hours at a time and feel like I didn't take a nap. I felt like I had a constant fog. Like, I remember the one time I was driving, um, I did late night classes, um, which oddly enough, I still did phenomenal in school, um, despite it really just taking a toll on um, everything. I felt like fatigued, I felt drowsy. Um, I was studying more intensely um, and I was driving and I think I forgot where I was. Um, it was odd. It wasn't like that I forgot where I was, but more so that I, I was just like mentally exhausted. Um, it felt like there was a constant fog and I was like, oh, so after uh, getting diagnosed with Lyme disease, um, I went the antibiotic route. Um, I know everyone's different. I myself believe in using antibiotics um, only when necessary. I believe they have their place, um, but really to only use them in an emergency infection, something very severe, and depending on what your immune system's like. Um, so I did the antibiotic route. I also took some uh, Asian herbs at the time, and I did uh, a leech therapy cleanse to just get some of those toxins out of my liver. Um, and then it was fine, um, but I will say for any of you guys that have had Lyme disease, you know that when you take the antibiotic, it's not like a quick zap and you're back to your normal self. It is a gradual process of slowly feeling better. And it took me about uh, well over six months to be frank before I started really noticing better, um, better feeling and better recovery uh, from the Lyme disease. Um, but it was gradual. Um, as gradual as it took to really feel the symptoms was as gradual as it took to feel better. So it really took a long time. And um, my friend and I, Nick, were talking about uh, Lyme disease and I said, well, what do people like take, take uh, herbal wise? I was curious. And we had a long discussion about an herb called Lomatium. And I myself being a certified herbalist have not heard of Lomatium. Um, I don't know why, I just it never came up in any of the lessons because herbalism is a great field, by the way. If you guys are interested in holistic um, health, you can get certified online. And I did the, uh, it was like a combo of online correspondence. But anyhow, um, you'll learn with uh, herbalism because it is so broad and most of it is just the um, Western herbalism. So like the USA stuff, it doesn't even touch upon the different herbs that are in Asia which is huge, also known as TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. There's Tibetan medicine, there's South American herbs, there's African herbs, um, European herbs, and they're all very different. Um, even Canada has a select range of plants that are different. So that's its own field. And you, I always say continuing education is important in herbalism. So we were chatting about Lomatium and one of the things we touched upon with Lomatium is that some people that get it, get a detox rash. And I have a whole bunch of stuff I took notes on when I did, um, just a few uh, research on Lomatium online. It is known as a um, broad spectrum antimicrobial, not an antibiotic because Lomatium does not wipe out your healthy gut flora like an antibiotic would. So it's actually really good if you're immunocompromised, um, you should be able to take it, uh, start small. Um, it's great for Lyme disease, it's great for shingles, it's great for a lot of those, even herpes viruses, a lot of uh, microbes that stay dormant in the body, it can attack. And that's why with the rash, uh, not many 
a medical professional knows what causes the rash or um, scientists don't even really know. But there was a really great herbalist and I just wanna cite his name. And it was uh, Michael Moore and he thought that it was a massive path pathogen die-off that caused the Lomation rash. And that makes sense because if you kill a whole bunch of microbes at once, they're gonna release a lot of toxin and that's what causes the rash. So when you get this rash, it actually looks just like a measles rash. It's all over the body. Um, it's, I think they said like over 70 something percent. It was like over, I think roughly 75 uh, get the rash or around that number. And the rash, you may get a fever with it, low grade. Um, don't freak out, you're not dying. And by the way, this is not an allergic reaction to this plant. It's actually a detox rash um, is what it's really known as. And because like I said, when you have those pathogens that die off massively, they're gonna release toxins and that's what causes the rash. And it's usually only one time. Um, it's possible that the next time you take Lomation, you may get it, but it's really rare. It's usually like one and then you're done after that. You can take it uh, a different one as a tonic, uh, depending on where you buy it because Lomatium is a really cool uh, herb. Uh, it's got big, beautiful yellow flowers. And this herb is not, um, it grows in the Pacific area, I know that. It does not uh, have, it hasn't been cultivated. So because it hasn't been cultivated, it's wild harvested, which is nicer in my opinion, because um, you get some variety in there. Um, you could even try it for C. diff. I've heard people talking about that. Um, if you do get the rash, do not stop taking it. Make sure you continue taking it. You can lower the dose. Um, some people do that. Um, as uncomfortable as the rash is, stop taking it will not cause the rash to go away um, any quicker than if you still take it or just lower the dosage. What else? You could uh, put it in your ear for an ear infection. You can use it on spider bites, bee stings. You can use it for strep throat, um, bronchitis. If you ha are a healthy person and have a good immune system, I've heard of people taking it for pneumonia, um, but really be careful there because if you're older or if, um, you're, if the person taking it is super young and they have a bad immune system, I would say just on the safer side, try the antibiotic um, if it's not getting better after a few days. Um, personally, if I have pneumonia, I don't take antibiotics for it. That's my own personal thing. Um, actually, it's a different herb for that too, which I'll talk about in another another time. You could use the uh, LDM. Um, there's another one. This one that I got, I got it at Basil Bandwagon, but it was from uh, Barlow Herbal and they have a phenomenal YouTube channel. Um, so I recommend their brand and they also do have another one at Basil Bandwagon that is their own brand called h &M. I think it's Herbal Alchemist, no h &A, Herbal Alchemist. Um, and they can special order it for you. Um, you do get discounts, but Lomation is a little pricey because it's wild crafted. It is about $30, but um, certain stores and Basil Bandwagon. So um, depending on where you get this, you may get a discount. Um, I know some of the websites will have their own annual sale. Uh, Basil Bandwagon does not have a discount, um, but they do have a rewards program. Um, so if you do get some herbal supplements, it adds up in cash and you can actually use that to your purchase, which is nice. So there are many um, different ways to get this. I suggest uh, get it from a, a store, a health food store, because you know you're getting a quality product that way. Um, because if you get it online, um, not that it's bad, but like, for example, um, like an Amazon or eBay, especially eBay, it may be old, it may be expired, it may be adulterated um, in some way that um, could potentially uh, damage the formula. So with that being said, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a vlog. Um, I need a creative title, so I'm thinking about calling it like the Lomation Detox Diaries or something funny. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I post down below what I should title the video and I'll actually title it that. So I'm gonna be uh, taking uh, LDM 100, which is the Lomation, um, the pure one. There's another one, uh, it's a different one and it's for immunity. Um, it's called LDM Munity with an M uh, instead of immunity and that's like a tonic. So this one you can take, um, if you're using it like what I'm using it for, is the purpose uh, if, for me is gonna be for Lyme and chronic Lyme because for those of you that know, depending on how long you've had Lyme disease for and because it hides in the body, you can have long lasting symptoms that include tingling, numbness, um, that pins and needle sensation. You could have ongoing fatigue. I've known people that after they recovered with a ton of antibiotic treatment, they um, are fine for a few days, but one, they had their days where they just can't get out of bed. And I've, knock on wood, have been fortunate uh, not to ever have that, but 
I really want to make sure I do my best to fully detox after having this uh, infection. So according to the directions, you start at 10 drops three times per day, and then you do two, three to five dropperfuls per day, and then you increase the do dosage uh, until desired results occur, um, depending on what you're using it for. So you can use it also for athlete's foot and fungal infections. Um, don't put it, I heard, don't put it anywhere in your eye, obviously, because it has alcohol in it. And it says on the here, which is the, about the rash, which I think is interesting, Lomatium in some people may cause a whole body detox rash. The rash usually, usually shows up after five to seven days of taking Lomatium. If this happens, discontinue use and the rash will soon disappear. Um, I've heard other herbal professionals just say um, lower the dosage. Um, I myself will just keep taking it. So I'm gonna actually try this now. Um, I just wanna smell this to see what it's like because I know from experience, some of the tinctures either smell really nice or really um, not so nice, to put it that way. Very earthy, I should say. Kinda smells like berry-like, which is pretty cool. And then when they harvest it, I think it's the root they harvest, which is pretty cool. I wonder what part of the plant it is. All right, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try 10 drops. Ooh, wow, that is strong. Holy. It's not as bad as some, um, but it has like a tangy uh, taste to it and it's, it's hot. The minute it hits your tongue, it's like that is an explosion of uh, flavor. And it has a very uh, planty, uh, herbaly, uh, earthy taste. Um, it's not the worst though. A um, little surprising. So I'm going to see um, after I take this, which should be sufficient, what my results are on this. And then if I get the rash, I'll do a video showing that rash. So I'm gonna start off with 10 drops for the first day and then I'm gonna increase it to three full droppers per day and then the next day four and then so on and so forth. So I'm gonna be doing this vlog with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, because this is a really nice discussion video, I wanna know from my viewers uh, down below, especially from my Lyme's uh, survivors, what was your experience at Lyme like? What did you do for Lyme disease? Cause there's a whole wide range of treatments. And did you guys take Lomation? So three things that I wanna know, uh, comment in that box down below. Um, because my school semester is starting up again, and I always go to school full time, um, I will try my best to reply to all you guys in a timely manner. Um, so just know that for me, school comes first, obviously. So if I don't reply, I will rep reply um, within the week because I'm usually really good at checking. Um, in between like a study break, I'll go online, uh, check and see uh, who has commented. So comment as much as you like, and I look forward to reading and replying to all of your questions, your stories. Because um, I think it's really good to have a discussion about Lyme disease because it is an illness that is affecting a lot of people and is very, um, I'm very passionate about talking about it and helping guys find healing with some uh, herbs naturally because my own opinion, I feel that when you rely more on herbal uh, products, um, you get better results um, as opposed to being 100% reliant on um, allopathic medicine or the uh, basically just traditional um, medical stuff. I'm not saying that it doesn't have its place, it has its place. I know some people are dead against it and that's fine. So I like to have that healthier balance where I use it when needed. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys. Um, it's really been fun to be doing some of these videos and starting to do more of my, um, no pun intended, going back to my roots as an herbalist. So have a wonderful day, a wonderful week and a wonderful new year.